My name is Hannah Harris Green. I am an independent radio and print journalist. I am especially interested in stories about gender and about healthcare, which is how I got interested in this project about contraception and family planning in India. India is projected to be the most populous country in the world within the next decade, so it's going to outpace China. But at the same time, the most popular form of contraception there, uh, which is female sterilization, is more restricted than it used to be. And that's because in 2014, 14 women died from procedures at a government-run sterilization camp in a single day in Chhattisgarh, India. And that kind of woke the country up to the fact that these camps aren't as aren't always as safe as they should be. And um, so they were banned in 2016. So I kind of wanted to look at what both scientists in India and also policymakers were looking at as alternative methods of contraception, especially for those women who might have used those sterilization camps. I also wanted to ask questions about sort of how this happened and about the status quo when it comes to contraception in India and how that came about. Why is female sterilization the most popular method there? Um, and why is male sterilization very, very unpopular? Why are condoms and the pill not used more? To answer those questions, I traveled to three different places in India. I first went to Delhi, where I basically spoke with a lot of experts, um, both policy experts um, and also scientists who are working on new methods of contraception in India. Dr. G.P. Talwar, who's creating sort of a vaccine against pregnancy. It's different from what's already available because it's not hormonal. Um, it doesn't affect your cycle the way hormonal contraceptives do. It vaccinates against a chemical called HCG, which is only present in the body when it's trying to get pregnant. So it's the same chemical that pregnancy tests um, detect. I also spoke with Dr. Sujoy Guha, who's invented a contraceptive for men. It's called Reisug, it's reversible, it's been in development since the 70s, and it's been tested on, uh, I think, around 300 Indian men, and proven effective. After Delhi, I traveled to Chhattisgarh, where this sterilization camp took place, where the 14 women died. I talked to families of the victims, and I also talked to doctors and healthcare professionals who dealt with the aftermath of those deaths and also are now dealing with the fact that sterilization camps are banned, and there are a lot more women who want the procedure than uh, the hospitals can handle in Chhattisgarh right now. I also traveled to Jharkhand where the state government uh, until 2016 was working with the Institute for Reproductive Health at Georgetown University to test another alternative contraceptive. Uh, it's called cycle beads and it's a calendar-based method that basically allows women to see when they're likely to get pregnant based on how many days have passed since their last menstrual cycle. If you want to check out that reporting or learn more about any of these topics, um, for the radio I did stories for PRI's The World, I did online stories for BBC Future and How We Get to Next.